you on the way, yes. <laughs> it's great to see you. You made it. I'm so happy uh, because, um, well, you know, I don't want to start off with a downer, but we have uh, 94 people who couldn't be here who paid and bought it. Now, that's just with an ad group, 94 people who uh, are on cancelled flights, um, couldn't get here. People who tried to rent, apparently trying to rent a car was impossible yesterday as well. So um, we'll send a special message to them a little bit later during the week. But you are here. We couldn't do one last year. We couldn't do one the year before, but we are going to make up for it now, right? As everybody, please, why is this man, hello young bar waiter sir, why has this man got a full tray? That has never happened on any of these cruises ever. Somebody please relieve him of those drinks. Mary Beth, grab one. Yes. So, um, we're going to do something, uh, I love the shirts, I love the hat, I love the shirts. We're going to do something that is sort of tradition here because we do sit with the people we know. But behind, in front of you, next to you, behind you, in front of you, all around the room is somebody who, like you, reads Facebook, loves carnival. So would you now all please turn behind you, next to you, and introduce yourself to somebody you don't know. Tell them your name, where you're from, who you are. The only people not doing this are the snobs. Can we have a bit more monitor? That would be lovely. That's it. Nobody can not do this. That's it. Hello. Hi. You're looking wonderful. Hi. Can you please make me? Hello. I love this shirt. I really do. Hi. Everybody say hi. JJ, Elaine, Mr. Elaine. Hello. How are you? Everybody good? All right. Silence, please. Because, because, hello, I, I have to say, first of all, um, pardon? You know, the, you know the bit earlier where I said, please keep drinking, it doesn't apply to everybody. And I thought, yes, I'm supposed to say mango, right? I don't know. crazy <laughs> and um, we should start off by doing the right thing and that is uh, first of all thanking some people and we will start with the most important people on board this ship and there are the people serving you drinks right here and all over the ship welcome to our crew thank you to the crew we are so proud of them I just, um, I was walking to the bridge uh, just now and uh, it was quite extraordinary. I think I've taken more photos with the crew than I have with guests and it's such a wonderful thing when they come up and say thank you and, and you know, I'm just so proud of all of the crew members. Can I also thank um, a young lady who I could not have put this cruise on without? The centre, where are you? Come on, the back. Come, come, come. She doesn't want to Thank you, Presenter. Um, and of course, we are uh, here. We are going to be the loudest and the most fun guests on board the ship. Um, and so I think it's only right that we introduce you to the senior officers on board the ship so you can meet them. Um, I think it's really important that we do that. And we're going to start by introducing you to the cruise director. and. Uh, when I introduced this young man, remember that when this ship came out in 2007, I was the cruise director and I looked just like he did. Don't be rude. That's not very nice. That laughter just hurts. I've got a lot to look forward to. Yes, it looked really, it hurts me. It hurts me. Ladies and gentlemen, you will love him, not just because that's his last name, but because He's a wonderful cruise director. Say hello to Mr. James Love, everybody. James. All right, James. 
so I have a lot of gifts for you. You have a what? I have a gift oh, for you. Oh, it better not be a mango, because I've got 29 already. Oh, that's a mango. What? Thank you. Oh, it's got my name on it. It's the best mango I've ever had. Thank you. I actually said, I actually said that, um, on Facebook that I, n nobody had ever given me a fake mango before, and now I've got 22 of them. So tomorrow I'm gonna write, no one's ever given me a Ferrari, and see what happens with this. Plastic mango. It is his birthday, I know, I know, I'm getting to that. Have another vat of beer. You're a right, lovely lady, it is your birthday. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Under normal circumstances, the audience would sing happy birthday, but uh, we're going to save that for the Q&A tomorrow, so okay. because we have something special to do for you then, but can't tell you what it is. Uh, would you like to welcome everybody? I certainly can, I certainly can. Now, I do want to let each and every single one of you know that we have over 1,100 crew members here on board, and they're here to make sure that you are ready to have a great vacation. Are you ready? Awesome, awesome. And that is all thanks to the senior leadership we have here on the Freedom. And we are going to start off with our guest services manager. Make some noise for Melanie! <laughs> next up, this next lady has a very, very tough job because she has to keep track of me. And I'm not an easy thing to keep track of. Your entertainment director, Jen! Round of applause. It's your beverage operations manager. <laughs> Next up, we have your housekeeping manager, Mr. Lester Dolly. <laughs> and of course, overseeing the entire hotel operation. Make some noise for your hotel director, Renee. Look at this. It's like, it's like, uh, look at them like that. It's like the Backstreet Boys and the Spice Girls reunion. But they're slightly aging, just a little bit. James, can I just say from this angle, those are some very tight shorts. That's all I'm just, oh my goodness. Uh, so, um, I, I, we had a little meeting um, about 11 o'clock this morning and I, I tried to explain to some of these young people who haven't met all of you before what we like and they said, well, how can I describe them? Um, well, there they are. That, that's, that's what they are. So these, these are um, loyal, amazing, brilliant, fun-seeking, lovable, cuddly, slightly drunk, amazing, <laughs> people who, of course, love the crew. Am I right? So, they are going to be here for you. Renee, as you're the senior officer on deck, could you rip off something, take something off? Woohoo! The, the Australian humour there. Take your mask off for a second and uh, I'll clean the mic. Just say quick hello to everybody. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Firstly, uh, I'd like to welcome you to the beautiful Campbell Freedom. Um, it is an absolute pleasure having you here. Um, and thank you to John for bringing you all on board. Um, you're some of our loyal to, loyalist uh, cruisers and we, it is our pleasure to have you here. And myself and my team uh, are all here um, to make sure you have so much fun uh, over the next six days. So thank you once again. Thank you, thank you so much. I know you've got to go. You've got to go and supervise the entire hotel. You've got to go and make sure all the cabin stewards are doing a wonderful job, which we know they are. Carlos, you've got to go and block this lady over here. And I'll give her <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Luis. You've got to make sure the salad bar is open for me. <laughs> I never had an entertainment director. I wish I had. Because, I mean, you must be 
Oh, you're so lucky. You don't think you're lucky? Calvin! Yeah. Calvin! Well, okay, you could be Calvin, you're right. Yeah, that would be so lucky. Melanie is from Wales. Is there any other Welsh people in here? That's just one drunk lady. She's not Welsh. She would have done that wherever I said. What? Is there anybody from uh, Mongolia? See, no, 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 no. They're just drunk. Ladies and gentlemen, these are wonderful people. Think of them not just as senior officers, but part of your family. If you need anything, please go see them. Come see us and they'll take great care of you. Give them a big hand, they've got to get to work. Thank you guys, vamos. Ciao. Ciao, Melanie, go to work. Bye, James. With me. Oh. I can't do it. I put my back out. I really did. I've, I've done my back really badly. The doctor's given me an injection in the back because I I don't know what I did. I was pulling a suitcase and my back went. I didn't fall off the horse this time. No. I didn't fall off. The... Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Why are you looking at your watch? <laughs> really rude. Why are you looking at your watch? Put the drink down and stand up. Come over here. Come over here. You are looking at your watch. Turn around. First of all, say hello to me properly. Actually, let's do it properly. Oh, that's nice. Jonathan Bass, ladies and gentlemen. What a good name. Where are you from, Jonathan? South Georgia. South Georgia. Wow. Like it, as, yeah. Is, is this your first time cruising with one of these? Because I recognise you. Without the beard, it's like looking in a mirror. But you're looking at your watch. Is it a message? What's it was. The, who, who's written to you? It's actually from my wife. Instead of leaning over, she texted me. Why are you texting a man who's sitting next to you? reached a point where you can't just whisper, oh, you had to send him a, what was the message? I don't know. You interrupted me for I interrupted you. What was the message? I was not even messaging him. Oh, it's another woman. Okay, <laughs> we'll just tell him about the message. that one. Tell everybody, tell everybody here that they're going to have a wonderful time. Would you be my spokesperson? Go ahead. He says you're going to have a wonderful time. <laughs> Don't check your messages. Cleveland is in the house. Very good. Thank you. Your husband is going on to shut up. So no one's there. Give this lady another drink. Hello, girls. Hi. How are you? Stand up. Can, you, can I help you up? Yes. Come on, stand up. Oh, there we are. All right. Hello. How many of these? It's great to see. Turn around. My, my two favorite lesbians right here. Pardon? Tell the story. Tell the story. How many years ago was it that we first met? Oh, eight. 2008. You were so, Pardon? You were singing. I was a cruise director and I saw these two ladies. They were sitting at a bar, which shouldn't be a shock to either anybody, but they were sitting at a bar and I came over and said, introduced myself, I said, how's things? And they told me the story uh, that they both recently lost their husbands of many, many years and they decided just to keep cruising and that they were cruising together. And then they said? I'm not really my sister. Because people think we're lesbians, so we say we're sisters. <laughs> so every year on a ship whenever I see them, I'm walking down promenade and I hear, we're not lesbians. <laughs> Which, it's okay, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, but seriously, the fact, I will never get tired of saying this, the fact that you lost your husbands and you decided to cruise together and still have fun and, you know, you're in your 50s now, right? Oh, yeah. Still cruising. And 
on the 60th and you've got empty four or five empty glasses. Maybe they will be lesbians, so let's have a seat. There you go. Give them a big hand, everybody. Hello, Michael. Come here, stand up, Michael. Give me a hug. You go careful. You go careful. Thank you. you want to say hello to everybody? Hello. 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 Michael, do you know of, do you know how many cruises you've done now? Pretty much. Well. 41 cruises. I'm very proud of you. So is mine. Who are you? Uh, do we have anybody who's on their very first one of these? Oh, look over here. Oh, I don't know you're not. Hello. He's definitely not. Look at that hat. Look at this hat. Stand up. Show him that hat. There you go. Are you going to wear it all week long? Are you going to wear it all week long? Oh, all groups. Tell everybody your name. I'm James. James, it's your, aka? Griff. Griff. It's your duty this week to have a photo with Griff. I want to see his. Thank you, Griff. Who sets first one? Come over here, because you're sitting under the ledge. You tell it's your first because you're sitting at the back thinking I won't pick on you. Wrong. So your first group, doesn't give you the right to put your hand on my bottom, but that's all right. You've got to do about, you've got to be John Rabbit to do that, okay? I that doesn't get that right. First cruise, that's so we do a picture. Okay, tell you a picture. There we go. Where are you from? What are you doing? Hold on, stop, stop, stop. No, no, wait. Is he serious? Hey, you got to Hold on. Hold on. Get, no, get to it. Get, can you feel this? Go back down again. They got to stare at my butt for the last 10 minutes, so this, can we do this again, right? Yes. So she's got the ring on, so before you say yes, say some words of love, right? I mean, we, just not just will you marry me, tell her, you've waited all this we time. Me, after all the love we've been through, all the cruises we've been on, everything like that, I love you, and I've been just waiting for this, since you were born with John, and he's your second love. I <laughs> I need you to think about this. Don't rush into anything. Because, you know, how do you feel? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Kiss him then. Kiss him. Wow. Well, can you whisper me your cabin number? I want to send you something. 9292. 92. Right, right, so if you're in 9294, stay out late tonight because Old McDonald and the entire farm yard are going to be in there tonight. 92, just if you could write that down. Congratulations. Please wish them many happy years together. Oh, that's really And you're going to think that was planned. I really had no idea he was going to do this. Does anybody what else want to do it while I'm here? <laughs> yes. Wow, that's, that, what a great, wow, that's amazing. Yes, what a memory. Right, so, um, what's going to happen? Let me come down the front here. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm following you. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a jacket on. She's a good one. Come over here. Yes. Now, Anastasia, you're getting you're getting uh, free chocolate. She's really lovely. Oh. That's very kind, don't cry. Anastasia, um, can I hold your tray a second? 
No, no, I used to, this was my first job with Carnival. Bar waiter. Worst bar waiter, I used to drop the trays over the people in the front row all the time. I'm just gonna put that there. Now, Anastasia, stay here with me, because um, not to be too serious for a second, but I just want you to know, Anastasia, that you and your family and your Baisanos, your ship people, your real family at home, we think of you every single day and we pray for peace, we pray for happiness, we pray for better days, and we stand with the Ukraine, right? To. Uh, you can have a, a, apart from that, a hot breakfast. You can have a hot breakfast on Lido, and then you, or in the dining room, you can come and join us. We'll have continental breakfast. So you basically can have two breakfasts tomorrow. Uh, and then, um, you know, the idea is for us just to be together. We'll get you back onto Half Moon Key as quickly as possible. I know it's a beautiful place. So hopefully, some of you will join me tomorrow. We'll take you a little bit about some of the news and some of the changes and some of the things that we want to talk about. Um, we'll also um, have all those activities on the last day. We're going to give you a, a box with some nice gifts inside, which I really hope you will like. And most importantly, most importantly, if you need something, if there's anything you think we can do better, please tell myself or Jacinta or any of the crew, and we will do our very best for you. But most importantly, this week, this six days, I hope you'll have the best of times. I hope you will really will just let yourselves go and enjoy every moment. If you want to propose to a, a wife, let me know, or a husband. If you want help with anything, just let me know and we'll do our very best to, to do it for you. Now, the last thing I want to mention is, um, what? What are you laughing at? He's going back to the cabin. Pardon? She needs a toothbrush. What am I?